Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Shade Tree Vintage Auto and DD Auto and Salvage. And I'm gonna go over another find with you. And this is a factory Curious Yellow 71 Plymouth Scamp. So like I said, Curious Yellow, which is a really cool and unique color, especially when it's fresh. You can't really tell if it's green or yellow. Uh, just a really interesting color. Um, this Scamp is an original 318 automatic car. Uh, there's no engine or transmission. Uh, somebody has already updated it to large bolt pattern, which is pretty cool. Uh, it is a pretty solid California car. You can see just a little bit of rust bubbles down in the bottom. But just like that 71 Challenger we got, had a vinyl top and it's got rust holes. Obviously not near as severe as the Challenger, but it will need a roof skin. Um, just a cool car and really unique with this color and being a V8. Right here it says uh, Christine's little sister, which uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I've had it here on the lot for a little bit and it hasn't started fixing itself. So I guess guess we don't have to worry too much. Uh, like I said, really a pretty cool car. And you can see in the sunlight here on the camera, it's just really interesting color. Um, this car... I think I'm going to keep this one, and uh, I have a soft spot for scamps. My second car was a 1971 scamp that I paid $3 for. Essentially, I had to buy a guy a hot dog and a drink at a gas station, and uh, the car actually ran. It was a 318, eight and three quarter car, and I drove it for quite a while uh, when I was 16. But this one, factory air conditioning, everything, and I've been saying for a while, I really want to just get an A body, leave just basically stock. So I think I will put a 318, but I'll probably upgrade to a Magnum with the four speed automatic. Uh, just so it's nice driver. Then with the air conditioning, power steering and everything, be able to hop in it and just cruise wherever I want. Uh, but really cool. Scamps were a really low production car anyway, but with Curious Yellow on it, I... I don't even know. I'd say it's probably one of maybe a hundred or so, but that's just an assumption. Uh, but I think for storage, just because I had to get the Super B down, it finally went to Sam. Uh, I think that I'm going to put it up on the container with my Roadrunner. But something's kind of cool that I mentioned with the Super B video is, so I've got the Scamp in Curious Yellow, the Duster in Sassy Grass, and the Roadrunner in Bahama Yellow. And then the Super B and FE5, everything but my Super Coupe are high impact colors now, which is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, uh, let's check out the engine compartment. Well, as you can see, there's not much to look at up here. You can see at some point it got the Chevy treatment, somebody painted it black, but it does have the spool mount K-frame already, which is pretty cool. But the coolest part is the fender tag here because it is an original GY3 Curious Yellow car. And it's kind of cool, it's hard to see, but the G33 is the sports mirror, which is awesome. This is two cars in a row, this one and the Super B uh, that have the sports mirror. Um, and it's an air conditioned car, black top, black interior, just a really cool car. A uh, little black stripe going down the side. You can still kind of see a little bit of it. Um, but, yeah, really not much to look at in here at this point. So, looking inside, it's, it's a mess. It's missing the front seat. But I did notice it has four-speed pedals. So I think at some point somebody was going to put a four-speed in it. There's also a few of the other parts. Uh, the column is over there for... Uh, um, power or four speed and then you've got power steering all over there uh, so some of the parts are here but not a lot luckily I have a uh, yard here full of parts so then I can put the seats in it probably do bench seat just like original probably do white seats though just because I think the white will stand out really good with the curious yellow and the black top and the black stripe I'll probably just redo a black stripe and maybe put Shade Tree Vintage Auto on the door or something. Uh, anyway, here in a few minutes, we'll get it up on the container and 
maybe I'll do some video while we do that. It is always so sketchy putting those up or taking them down, but it's really good storage that's relatively safe. Uh, and it looks really cool up there too. You know, I wish the Roadrunner was the Bahama Yellow like it originally was. Uh, anyway, I'm glad it's up there. It's the new landmark. And that one will probably be up there for a while, both of those, because they're they have plans, but they're just a long ways out. Uh, anyway, be sure to uh, like and subscribe to see plenty of other cars, including a few that I'm going to be listing for sale here very shortly. Okay, so here is the charger on the rotisserie. And uh, as you can see, the trunk floor is obviously in need of replacement, along with all the channel here, all the way around. This is the only part that's gonna have to be custom built. The rest of the stuff you can get from AMD. So the side is with the quarter panels and then the Dutchman panel, obviously. Um, kind of interesting to see them at this angle. We'll get under here in a second. But the floors, Look how nice those floors are. So they just said basically they're going to blast them and treat them, and that's about all they need to do. So it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. So obviously it's going to be a nut and bolt restoration or resto mod, and uh, it's going to get all the QA1 stuff. It's going to be awesome, and I can't wait to get that so we can get it here and start getting all that put in place as well. Frame rails are pretty good. Like you said, the floor pans are just awesome. A little bit of rust right here, um, but that will be replaced with the full quarters. We got AMD quarters here for it. Wheelhouses, actually really nice. I mean, it's really, really good bones, and this car is going to be awesome. So like I said, AMD stuff. You got the other quarter panel. Seats, console. Then the fenders, there's gonna be a little work done on the fenders, mostly because they had older body work done. And doors they said are mint. This car is gonna to come together and be so cool. Uh, it's gonna go red. Tammy's gonna love it, as is Derby. This car is awesome. Um, but anyway, I know this is kind of a short video, but be sure to follow along for more progress. And again, it's being built by TNS Custom Cars in Idaho Falls. 
and uh, all the work I've seen him do was absolutely awesome. So yeah, check him out on Instagram. So till next time. <laughs>